the Aztecs may have awed us with their breathtaking architecture and prolific agriculture. But beneath all that finesse lay a world of gory, slimy filth that would undoubtedly make you cringe. From grilling young offenders over a spicy fire to sacrificing up to 80,000 people in four days. Enormous flint knife landed. Then some 1,600 gods disgorged from this thing, and they are responsible for launching Aztec civilization. Life in Aztecs wasn't for the faint-hearted. Hello, and welcome to our channel, where we reveal dirty secrets of ancient civilizations. In today's episode, we dig up the dirty facts about the Aztecs. That'll leave you speechless, so be sure to watch till the very end. We kick off with life as a youth in the Aztecs. From the cradle to the grave, youngsters were constantly reminded that life was about survival of the fittest. So right from day one, they ensured the youth learned the way of the tribe, which usually included a lot of suffering. This did not include timeouts, or your parents taking your tablet away for a week. No, they were taught the principles of reverence for the gods, respect for the elderly, hard work, discipline, and obedience. Breaking any of these rules could earn you punishments that ranged from being pierced with the tip of a maguey cactus to being grilled over a fire, depending on the severity of the offense, of course. If the offense was minimal, the offender got away with a literal stab on the wrist with a cactus plant. But if it was severe, the offender was tied and dangled over fire. Sometimes chili peppers were thrown in the mix for the offender to inhale the sharp acidic smoke. Once their eyes and nose begin to water, they are lifted for a brief respite, lest the pungent smoke takes their lives. And here I thought getting a smack on the bottom from me old dad was rough. No wonder the Aztecs achieved all the magnificence that they were famous for. They were a highly disciplined society. But if you think that was the only thing that kept them in check, then you're in for a surprise. The Aztecs love their human sacrifices. Okay, not in the way that their Spanish conquerors made them out to be, but for a civilization that took pride in displaying thousands of human skulls as a sign of power, they certainly did have some affinity for human heads. The Aztecs had a rack of human skulls, which they referred to as zompantly. Some of the racks measured up to 200 feet long and 100 feet wide. These zompantlies were displayed at strategic places for visitors. Not that they had many, for obvious reasons. But they were mainly there so that enemy scouts could easily see them. The bigger the zompantly, the more it struck fear into the hearts of their enemies. I mean, an enemy scout would think twice about attacking a tribe that had the biggest zompantly he's ever seen. Besides the show of strength and power, the zompantly also served as an honor to the deity to whom the heads were sacrificed. During a recent excavation of Templo Mayo in Mexico City, scientists came across a monument that shook them to the core. They found two towers of skulls that were more than five feet tall. Now, I can't tell you if they passed out, but my legs would certainly have given way to that horrible sight. However, what was worse than mountains of decaying skulls stacked up on each other were the altars of human sacrifices that were littered across the land. The Aztecs loved sacrifices, and they offered them on every occasion. Now, they didn't offer human sacrifices as often as we might think, but when they did, they went big. According to one source, the Aztecs once sacrificed about 80,000 people in four days, which was very extreme even by their own standards. But what made the whole idea bizarre was that they would carry out raids on villages for the sole purpose of sacrificing them to the gods. But that isn't the worst part. The priests who offered the barbaric sacrifices painted themselves in the blood of their victims and sometimes wore their skins. Yes. You heard that right. They skinned their victims in the same way animals are skinned for their hide. And they wore the human skin with pride. Now, if this isn't the height of barbarism, I don't know what is. One major event that saw the practice of wearing human skin was the Zyptotec Festival, a celebration dedicated to the god of agriculture for an abundant harvest. Curiously, the Aztecs justified their brutish act by claiming that the wearing of their victim skins signified the shedding of the old and the renewal of life. Now, remember at the beginning where I said you'd be speechless? 
Well, if I didn't have this amazing script, I'd be speechless as well. So if you're still with us, won't you kindly give us a like for this video? And subscribing to our channel makes us delirious with joy, as we just love creating interesting stories from the past just for you. All right, back to the Aztecs. Now, the Aztecs loved their sacrifices and often engaged in cannibalism, but they never ate any clowns. Why? Well, because clowns taste funny. But did you know what else they enjoyed besides cannibalism? Making widows suffer. Life in the Aztecs was brutal and unforgiving. If men were not fighting ruthless enemies, they were building gigantic structures or cultivating endless lands. These often took a toll on them, and by their 40th birthday, they were gone with the wind, leaving young widows in their wake. These widows were subjected to rites that ensured that their deceased husbands safely made it to the other side. Stop the rites or mess it up, and her husband's spirit will forever roam the cosmos, pranking travelers at night. The rites were a festival of disgusting filth, which involved not taking your bath for 80 days. And if that wasn't dirty enough, the widow wasn't allowed to wash her clothes either. She remained in this state and interacted with no one until the period had elapsed. It was believed that the love of the widow, mixed with the filth she generated, served as fuel for the husband. When she was sure her husband had reached his final destination, she shook off the dirt, took her bath and went back to business as usual. Now, here is where I issue a caution to those with weak stomachs. What I'm about to share could blow your minds and your bottoms as well. So don't say we didn't warn you. Beware. The Aztecs ate a stew called Tlacolele, which was made from pork, garlic, and hominy made from corn. Now here comes the stomach churning part. On religious occasions, the stew was prepared with the body parts of captives, and it was served to the family of the captors. Gross, right? Well, that was the way of the Aztecs, and each member must follow suit or face the spicy fire. The reason for this is unclear, but some sources indicate it was probably a sign of victory over their enemies. Other historians think eating a stew prepared with human flesh invigorated the warriors for their battles ahead. After all, nothing energizes a warrior better than consuming the body parts of their enemies, especially you know where. This might seem ridiculous or a figment of one's imagination, but a recent discovery proved the contrary. An archaeological excavation discovered large Aztec cooking pots next to piles of human skeletons with incomplete bones. And no, those weren't the skeletons of the cooks. The Aztecs were as brutal as they were brilliant. But do you know the civilization which was also brilliant but filthy? The ancient Egyptians. You can discover their filthy habits here when you click on this video. And I'll see you there. Until next time, thanks ever so much for watching.